Hi there, Alec from Vacuum Spot here. Today I'm going to show you how to replace both belts in a clutch. Uh, this one's out of a Dyson DC07, um, but they're the same for the DC04 and the DC14 as well. Okay, now straight up I'm just going to say I haven't done this for about six months, and in fact I normally don't bother anymore, I just replace the whole clutch. Um, but having said that, I end also remembering I don't do retakes. So this is a start to finish job. Um, if it takes a bit longer because I have to redo stuff, my apologies. Okay, so let's first up have a quick look at the clutch itself. I'm going to point out that this particular one isn't worth doing. Um, it's just for show, but you'll notice here, see how your little roller is melted? Um, I wouldn't put a belt in there, it's just going to run offline and likely break anyway. But for the sake of this video, we'll use it. Okay, so first, pop off these two screws. Now as I always say, start with a nice clean bench so that you can see what you're doing and when you put it back together, if you've got stuff left over, that'll be a pretty simple reminder that you need to find a spot for it to go. Okay, that little part goes in there. Sorry for not being overly technical, I don't know what they're called. Okay, that there. Now, at this point, that's as far as I can go. I've actually got to remove this little circlip on the end here. Now, I don't have little circlip pliers that are that small, so I'm just going to try and do this with a couple of screwdrivers. I'm just going to try and get in there like, um, I don't know, like chopsticks or something, and pry that apart. Okay, this is a bit tricky, particularly when I'm trying to show you. Right, this is my second try. I'll use... Okay, no, I'm just going to do it this way. Forgive my musings, by the way. I'm not meaning to chatter endlessly, but... Okay, so that's got that little part out. Pop that to one side. Now that is going to allow this bit to come out. Take note that there is three little ball bearings that are going to want to be in place when you put it back in. Just put that aside. Now, this here, you've got to take the whole thing out with the belt in place. It's not the simplest of tasks either. Um, but all right. Okay, there we go, just the brute force method worked. Just to show you what I did then is just popped a screwdriver in here and pushed it out. Okay. So now you can see clearly that this is quite well and truly ruined. However, if this was a good one, we'd be saving quite a bit of money by replacing these belts. Okay, so you've got two belts that go in a Dyson clutch. The one that we want for this fella is the fat one. And you just position it in a place like that. Feed your belt back up through your hole. Okay, and hopefully we can kind of use the same method, yep, just pushing that into place. Now, what we've got to do is take this thingy, yeah, my cameraman's laughing at me using thingy, I'm not actually a particularly technical person, I just know how to fix things. Okay, so that goes into place and you'll feel it sit in. Now, from memory, we've got to just jiggle this a little bit until it can actually push forward. Now, here's the tricky part. You've got to hold that so that you can then get that circlip back in place. I just need to find something that I can sit this on. An old switch will do just fine. Okay. All 
Okay, now, what you need to see is that you've got length on your shaft there, and, ah, oh, rather stupidly, I've put my circlip somewhere. Cameraman, can you see it? It's that little U-shaped thing. Excellent, good work. All right, so again, sheesh. Bear with me, guys. We just need to, okay. All right, now this repair is not one of the easiest. I would say this is probably a six out of 10, maybe a little bit more, cool. Maybe heading towards a seven. So if this is looking tricky for me, it actually truly is, so just bear that in mind. Not saying I'm particularly good at this, but just be aware. Okay, so we're just going to put that little guy back on there. Now, you have to remember that in the process of getting it out, I've bent him out a little bit. So he's going to have to go in, push him down, and then squeeze to close it up. Like so, and hopefully, then I can turn this and it'll stay in place, like so. Alrighty, so now with the hard part over, we put this silver thing back here, and now we come to replacing the clutch belt, the clutch to drive shaft belt. So we remove our old one, and here's our nice new one. Just goes in like so. Now here's the tricky part for this part. Jesus said part a lot then, hey? Okay, now, what we've got to do is hold this belt outside of this, one of these screws, at the same time as turning it over and not letting all the parts fall out. There we go again, part. Um, okay, so, Alrighty, so we turn him over. Excellent. Move our slider across to the lock position. Screw number one, screw number two. Okay, that, if it wasn't completely wrecked, would be well and truly repaired now. Um, I hope that's helped. If it has, then please hit like on one of the buttons at the bottom. I'll paste a comment, post a comment. Um, that's Alec from Vacuum Spot. Thank you.